Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. So, today we are going to do a 24 hours in Phnom Penh. We really hope we're saying that right, by the way. Phnom Penh. Um, so we are going to film what we're doing today and then also tomorrow morning uh, to give you some ideas if you are also in the city. So we arrived in Phnom Penh this morning, we've checked into our hotel, showered, got ourselves clean and everything and then we have come to our first stop which is this place behind us. We are at Wat Phnom. Liz is going to put it right here. So we'll show you around right now. Let's go! temple and now we are back to our old habits and we're visiting the museum the national one of Cambodia Ooh. There was lots of uh, artifacts and sculpture type things to look at, so worth a visit. Uh, we then headed to, oh we got some lunch, and then we headed to the Royal Palace. However, we didn't go in, we thought it was a bit expensive for what it is. We've been to a few palaces already, not in Cambodia, but in other places, so yeah. They're all much of a muchness, you know? Um, and then we headed to the 
monument behind us, which you can't see, but it's the Vietnam Cambodia one. Uh, then it started to chuck it down, so we ran into a shop, um, got a cup of tea, and now we are on our way to the Independence uh, Monument. So we'll see you there. this evening. Liv is in bed with her leg uh, resting. It's still really painful and swollen from when the wasp uh, stung her this morning. So I've just been out, got her some dinner, got him some ice, sorry, got her some ice. Uh, the people at the restaurant were very confused but they were really kind. Arsenal. Like us. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So we have come to the Genocide Museum this morning. Um, uh, last night we just went to bed. We had an early night because we didn't sleep the night before on the bus. So we'll show you around the museum now. good um, uh, very in-depth lots of personal stories going on would recommend anybody to go uh, yeah it was very interesting um, after that we just sat and had lunch at a restaurant called evergreen vegetarian restaurant did you like it I did it was very nice very good we would recommend that one as well um, but we are gonna leave Phnom Penh now and head to Kampot um, which we will see in tomorrow's vlog Hopefully you all enjoyed today's vlog and it gave you some ideas if you're going to be in the city. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Uh, Thura and... One, two, three. And... Oh, for me. Okay, so we were sat having lunch and we were sat in a restaurant just opposite from this shop here. And I just randomly said to Lizzie, oh, I really want to get a notebook. And she was like, oh, there's a stationery shop across the road from us. And I was like, oh, I can't see it, but okay, I'll go explore. And this was what she was talking about. I was walking up and down the street for like a few minutes. It was a bit embarrassing. I didn't know what she was talking about. This is what she was talking about. It's a sandwich shop. I don't know if you can see that, but she thought that that said stationery, not sandwich, even though it's got a picture of a baguette on it. I don't know what... It says subs. Do you think it said subs and... No, I couldn't see this one. I was talking about this, this lower one here with all the fancy but what, writing. What do you think the first word said where it says subs? Yeah, I didn't know, so I just kind of dismissed it. Like pens and stationery. 